in Paris that was covered with vines. <laughs> Lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine The smallest one was Madeline. Most every day the girls would yearn to learn as much as they could learn. Madeline? Five times six is twenty. Oh. Twenty-five? They loved to study every book of math or of the French they took. Qui connaît la réponse? Who knows the answer? They thrilled at Caesar's rise and fall. <laughs> but they love science most of all. Réveillez-vous, girls! Wake up! Today huh? we are going to learn about gravity what? and velocity. Velocity is the rate of speed. And now you will see. The heavier object will land first. Allez-y. Go ahead. <laughs> Gravity means what goes up must come down. Oh, Miss Clavel, if everything must come down, then surely everything must break. Uh, Danielle, uh, there are ways to keep things from breaking. Let us try a scientific experiment. Nothing is more fragile than an egg, no? No, Miss Clavel. Alors, now then, how can we keep it from breaking when we drop it from an high place? Uh, let us say... Our balcony. We, we do, do not know, know Miss Clavel. Hmm. Attention, mes enfants. If you all work very hard on this experiment, tomorrow I shall take you to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I have never been to the Eiffel Tower. We must get to work. The girls all did their very best to pass the scientific test. <laughs> will figure it out. Girls are terrible, terrible at science. Her. Though all their ideas were bright. Très bien, Chloe. Very good. Ha, ha, ha. No one seemed to get it right. Miss Clavel, I will drop the chicken. Then it will lay an egg later. <laughs> <gasps> S'il te plaît, Nicole, please. No dropping chickens. I shall drop the egg onto that pillow. <laughs> <laughs> you silly 
<laughs> Go ahead, Madeline. Except for one who did it fine. That clever girl was Madeline. It worked! <laughs> Bravo, Madeline! You shall be first in line tomorrow at the Eiffel Tower. You were just lucky, Madeline. If your idea really worked, you could drop an egg from a place muy alto, very high, like the Eiffel Tower. I know it will work, Pepito. I do not have to try it. Oh, no? It sounds like you are afraid to. I am not afraid of anything. Poo-poo. <laughs> In that case, I dare you. I will accept your dare. No, Madeline. Never accept a dare. They can be dangerous. Really? Besides, you have nothing to prove. Oh. Oui, Miss Clavel. I will come with you to the Eiffel Tower tomorrow, just in case you change your mind. Ha ha ha! <laughs> the next day at an early hour, they set off for the Eiffel Tower. A monument of grace and power. Come along, everyone. We shall take the elevator. We had better take the stairs. The Eiffel Tower was built in 1889. Just in time for the World's Fair. <laughs> Ella! Unfortunately, many people thought it was ugly and signed a petition to tear it down. It was only saved because they needed it for a radio antenna. I am so happy they saved it. Wow, see, me too! Paris has the same, Paris has the roof, Paris has the dango who never dares to move. Paris has fresh pastries baked at least three times an hour, but Paris would not be the same without the other girl. Paris has the art, Paris has the dome, Paris has a sense of style you'll never find in Rome. to floor. They climbed till they could climb no more. Race you to the top! Okay. They climbed. Go one more step, Miss Clavel. I am afraid of heights. 
That is all right, Danielle. I am a bit dizzy myself. Oh, let us all go back down. Back down? Now? But we have not yet gone to the top. Only the elevator goes to the top. But I do not want to walk down, so I will jump. <gasps> no! It was a joke, Miss Clavel. But not a funny one, Pepito. Venez, little girls, come along. So Pepito asked Madeline to stop and dared her to go to the very top. I still dare you to drop an egg from up there. I do not have an egg, Pepito, nor a pillow. Mire, look, you do now. Well... Do not ever accept a dare. They can be dangerous. I cannot do it, Pepito. Why not? Are you a chicken? What? 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 Of course not. Then you are afraid your experiment will not work. I know it will work. I accept your game. Hmm. Ratito! Ratito! Has anybody seen my rat? He's very hungry and likes to bite. Oh, oh, Let us go, Madeline. After the rat incident, up and up and up they went. The water is deep. It is fantastic. At the top, they looked around. We are so high. I can almost touch the clouds. Down. Going down. We had better go, Pepito. But we have not done your experiment. I know, but... but... But before the egg could be thrown to the ground, the time had come to go back down. Everybody must go down now. You see? Aha! You are afraid the egg will break. Not at all. Is everybody in? Shh. Hurry, little girls. It is getting late. See the pillow, Pepito. It is too far down. It is right below us. Trust me. Very well. Time came for the experiment. Down through the sky, the egg was sent. But who could tell where that egg went? I cannot see it at all. We had better go down and look. It came from the sky. The elevator is broken. I am sorry. They will fix it tomorrow. Madeline and Pepito were out of luck. With no way down. They both were stuck. I... Oh, the club! Help! The two were all alone that night. Oh, Pepito, I never should have accepted your dare. And I never should have dared you. I know. We can write a note and throw it down. See, si. Do you have a pencil and paper? Oh, no. Without a bit of help in sight. I know. I will try Morse code. 
Oops. That was almost SOS, which means help. Maybe you could finish with your other shoe. See. Hey, hey! Then something startled Miss Clavel, who realized all was far from well. <gasps> something is not right. One, two, three, four. Oh no! Madeline and Pepito are missing! <gasps> Hurry, girls! Oh, oh no! no. So am I. I wish I could have a waffle with strawberries and whipped cream. I want a big bowl of paella. Yummy. And for dessert, ice cream. And a giant piece of chocolate cake. Now I am even hungrier. So am I. Oh, Pepito, I'm afraid we'll be here forever. <laughs> I never should have dared. The girls ran back to where they started, worried, scared, and heavy-hearted. Till Miss Clavel beheld a rope, which gave them all a ray of hope. The elevator is not working. I wonder. They are still up there. I know it. Little girls, I am sure that Madeline and Pepito are stuck on the top of the tower. Really, Miss Clavel? We will never get them down. Do not worry, little girls. Au secours! Help! Qu'est-ce qu'il y a, mademoiselle? What is it? Two children are stuck at the top. That is impossible. The elevator is not working. Which is why they are stuck at the top. Regardez, Miss Clavel, look. It is Pepito's shoe. He must have dropped it as a signal. Oui, voilà. There it is, proof. I will go find a mechanic. But while they waited for some aid, other plans were quickly made. That policeman is taking forever. Perhaps we can get them down ourselves. I know. We can have a plane draw parachutes to them. We can find a gigantic mattress and have them jump. I do not think so, girls. We will just have to wait. Excusez-moi. Excuse me. I overheard your problem. I will climb to the top and rescue the children. Really? That is very kind of you, but... Madeline. Someone will find us. Eventually. Yes. Oh! Pepito! Look! What is it? It is a blimp. Maybe it will see us. Hey, Over hey. here! Over, Over here! here. By now, people gathered, one after another, even Pepito's father and mother. They waited, just holding their breath and staring. Till a blue car pulled up, its loud siren blaring, with a mechanic whose job was repairing.
l'élévateur est fixe. I must go to them. Mes enfants? Miss Clavel! Madeline, Pepito, oh, I am so happy to see you. We are even happier. I will not scold you two. Being up here so long is punishment enough. Oui, Miss Clavel. Si, Miss Clavel. But I hope, Madeline, that the next time someone dares you, you will have learned your lesson. Absolute, Mom, Miss Clavel. Absolutely. Mira! Look! Fireworks! Please, Miss Clavel, can we stay a little longer? No. Then they all went home and broke their bread. We love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love each other. And brushed their teeth and went to bed. Then Miss Clavel counted from the door. And that's all there is. Huh? There isn't. <laughs>